A good news Wednesday report tonight. A happy ending to a tough tale. A cow stuck out in the snow on a local farm about to give birth. News 8's Tina Detell shows us what happened. This is the pen where Lydia was when Beth Tillman realized she was just about to give birth. And it's actually the farthest pen from the barn up there. And you have to go all the way around to get up there. Had to be dragged through those snowdrifts all the way up here through this big snowdrift. Beth Tillman says her son and one of their workers at Firefly Farms used a big strap to pull the pregnant cow across the snow covered fields. When you elect to do farming, you do whatever you have to do to keep your animals safe. Mm -hmm. So that's all there is to it. Yeah. This was all during a snowstorm, the wind roaring, the snowdrifts six feet high. They're, they're not real inclined to go there because if they fall and if they were to break a leg, that's it. There's, oh. there's no recovery from a broken leg for a cow. Oh. Fortunately, they got Lydia safely into the barn. Hi, Three uh, days later, she gave birth. Up in Maine. This is Miss Lydia and her baby Fortuna. An introduction which may not have happened if they didn't act quickly. Outdoor births at this time of year, mm. it means death. The cows on this North Stonington farm are Randall Lineback, an old Vermont breed. Oh, okay. oh, here she comes. Hey, Fortuna. Only 500 still in existence. Each one of these birds is critical to the uh, gene pool. At Firefly Farms, they say they are conservators of rare breeds. From now on, winter pregnancies will be a thing of the past. Right. Because it's just, it's just too much. Juno here was born right in the middle of the blizzard. Now, normally, they like to see the calves born between May and June. They have five winter babies here right now, though, and another on the way. In North Stonington, Tina Detell, News 8.